Today, Pennsylvania announced 92 new deaths from the virus, bringing the statewide total to more than 1,200. All of that was on the governor's mind as he announced the first steps of reopening businesses. As Andy Sheehan reports, the governor is touting it as a more measured approach. Andy. Susan, the governor t announced what he called small steps to reopen the state's economy, but his announcement also gave hope that this region may take bigger steps by mid-May. In response to cries to reopen Pennsylvania, Governor Wolf's plan may seem incremental and slow. Today, I want to announce that we are taking small steps toward regaining a degree of normalcy in Pennsylvania. Wolf is lifting restrictions on online car sales and reopening state stores for curbside pickup. In addition, he'll allow construction to resume on May 8th. But his stay-at-home order will remain in effect at least until then, at which time other restrictions may be lifted on what he calls an evidence-based, region-by-region, business-by-business approach. We have May 8th now as a goal, which gives a lot of people, I think, some predictability and some surety. County Executive Rich Fitzgerald translates this as good news for our region, where the virus numbers have stayed low and are now declining. So at that point, we'll see some lifted, I would expect, in western Pennsylvania because our numbers have been so good that we would fall into that category. But how much of our economy reopens will be based on data and testing, which would allow any resurgence of the virus to be identified, isolated, and contained. We need to have the testing in place so that we know how many infections there are and whether it's getting out of hand or not. PIP professor and epidemiologist Donald Burke says the U.S. has been far behind countries like South Korea and Singapore in testing, and that here in Allegheny County, he says we've tested only about 1% of our residents when five times that is needed. Still, he's optimistic we can get there in short order. This will be a, a ramp-up process that it'll, it'll uh, come into play over time. I'll, I'll be surprised if we're not up to speed in a month. Again, the governor's stay-at-home order will stay in effect until May 8th. After that, if the numbers show it, things may start loosening up. Reporting live on the North Shore, Andy Sheehan, KDKA News.